Good day. Today let's talk about art and heritage and my guest is Eugenie Dumont. She works within the art advisory department at De Grof Peterkam. Eugenie, welcome. Um, first of all, what are the main reasons to include art within your heritage? Well, art is a tangible passion asset. It gives you continuous satisfaction through the emotional attachment you have to it because you get to live with the art you own, something that cannot be said of traditional assets. And as such, art can then become a testimony of who you are, your taste, but also your support of artists' careers. And on the economic side? Well, from an economic point of view, in times of downturns, art can become a store of value in a low interest rate environment. And conversely, in times of high economic activity, art can give the classic protection of real assets against inflation. More and more people are looking into investing in art. The Grof Peterkam has set up a specialized service for that called the Art Advisory Department. What is the vision of your department? Well, at the Grof Peterkam, we remain first and foremost wealth managers. Um, that means that our core expertise lies in portfolio management and investment advice. But as such, we also recognize the importance of preserving cultural and artistic heritage for future generations. And in that respect, we look at our client's heritage as a whole, which obviously includes the artistic heritage. So whether it is with the purpose of starting an artistic journey or to use art to diversify their assets, we listen to our clients to guide them along their artistic journey because art is an asset that requires a very specific management. And this is why we have our art advisory department to help them along the way. In concrete terms, can you explain what this offer consists of? How do you support your clients? Well, our clients come to us with a very diverse set of questions. For example, how to start a collection and manage it over time, how to leverage it, what to think about to prepare its transfer for future generations. And these questions can be very specific, such as the valuation of a single artwork, but they can also stem from a broader reflection about education on the art world, or how to start a collection from the beginning, as well as what to think about to prepare its transmission to the future generations. At the Grof Petercom, you are first and foremost wealth managers. Now, who are the people advising your customers on art? What is their expertise? Well, following a tailored approach, we work with both internal and external experts to help our clients. For these external experts, uh, they are all independent advisors. And with their long-standing experience on the international art scene, they managed to bring us a broad network that enables a privileged access to the art markets, otherwise difficult to reach. But I think their independence is their strongest asset um, because in that way, they will always provide an objective advice uh, to avoid any potential conflict of interest, something that cannot necessarily be said of other art dealers or commercial institutions. And each of them is specialized in their own field, meaning that their expertise focuses on a specific movement or period. And combined, we cover over 500 years of art history, which is a real advantage for our clients with eclectic collections. An art collection requires a thorough management, you said so yourself, in order to preserve its value over time. Now you offer specialized services for that as well, don't you? Well, the thorough management of collection requires a lot of activities, from inventory and insurance down to storage, preservation and potential restoration as well. And one should obviously keep in mind the costs that are associated with them, as well as each of the requirements for the specific artworks, but also for the collection as a whole. And as such, we work with a number of partners who are all specialized in their own set of services that enable us with an end-to-end -end management of the collection, so we can provide tailored solutions for each of our clients and their specific requests. And you also work in close collaboration with your colleagues in estate planning. Indeed, we work with our estate planners and the philanthropy department to help our clients with the transfer of the artistic heritage for future generations. In conclusion, can I say that the art advisory department serves as a one-stop shop for people who love and collect art? Among other things, yes, but outside these walls, we also try to have a positive impact by supporting various art-related initiatives, such as partnerships with institutions or art fairs. 
We also publish a lot on art through our blog to educate and inform, but also to keep track of local initiatives. The art market works in a unique way. And at the Kroof Peter Kam, it is our role to accompany our clients throughout the artistic journey, management of the collection, as well as its transmission for future generations. The art advisory department is there to help them. Eugenie Dimont, thank you very much for introducing the art advisory department to us. My pleasure.